222 years prior. Blackness. Then, Terry's eyelids opened. Sunlight scalded his pupils. Breath pressed into his constricted lungs. His frame pulsed with shock. A flock of buzzards scattered from his body. He was at the base of a cliff. The one he had thrown himself from. His spine was straight. His wounds were healed. He was alive. No, 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 not me. Not me. Not me. He buried his head into his arms and rocked back and forth. Eventually, he rose. He scaled the serrated cliff with bare hands and a weakened body. He crested the lip and walked through the commune of the Knights of Rites. It was empty. Stripped. Only naked fields remained. Weeks must have passed. He entered the hillside cave expecting to find the remains of his soldiers. But they too were gone. All indicators that this space had once been an arms cache had been removed, save for the immovable anvil at the cave's center. And the floor. It would forever be stained with darkened crimson. Outside, Terry paced among the dead laid to rest. Tombstones dotted the landscape. Monuments for each of the Knights of Rites, and one for his wife, Shyla. Although she had never become a knight, those who buried her honored her as one. One monument stood out. It was twice as tall as the others, carved out of a polished black stone. It was at the forefront of the burial plots, as if leading the battalion even in death. And bonded to the top of the tombstone were the very items that had represented the man in life. Vance whip gauntlets. Terry dropped to his knees in front of the grave. He clawed at the grass, shredding it, and the soil disrupting it. He brought back the wrong man, Terry said to whatever force had resurrected him. The wrong man. The wrong man. The tear subsided. His fingers stopped tearing at the grass and instead started smoothing it down. Terry turned to the sky. If you won't bring him back, I will. He threw his shoulder again and again into the gauntlet sealed to the gravestone. They broke loose and he slid them onto his hands. He activated the thrusters. The power cell sang Shyla's song. Van Hule is alive. He proclaimed to the storm clouds gathering. I take on his name, now and for all eternity. I will carry his weapons as a reminder of the man I should have been, and the man I must become. Agmar Bury in Terraform is dead. Van Hule lives within me. He revved the engines of the gauntlets. He loosed the whips which crackled taunts to the heavens. Here I stand. He declared with the might of an immortal warrior. I am Vant Huel.